Hey guys, Dungeon J here. Today we're going to be sinking our rotting zombie teeth into a bite-sized RPG called Dead Age. A game developed by Silent Dreams and released on Steam back in July of 2016. A non-exploration turn-based apocalyptic strategy game with permadeath, resource management, and decision making all rolled into one. Now let me go ahead and start this review off by saying that I didn't have high expectations walking into this game when I set to review it. And I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised at the amount of depth Dead Age actually could provide. Dead Age keeps your fingers busy between making decisions on resource management all the way to which areas or what to work on when a free moment arrived, with who would build ammo, gather food, craft medical supplies, or equipment. The game gives an abundance of choice of decision making and kept me entertained throughout the entire two playthroughs that I invested in it. Now when you first start out, you can only be the one character type a college student, but after earning medals, you can unlock different character archetypes on your next playthrough, including the likes of a soldier or a bodyguard. Now the most surprising thing is that the narrative journey will change with the character selection, giving ample playthrough opportunities as well. Choices you make will matter. Do you push a member too far and then they give you a cold shoulder for the next three days, or do you get involved romantically with another? It even matters who you help carry out quests with and what they need to be accomplished. The bulk of your time will be spent entering zones like the wilderness or highway where you'll be plowing through zombies which come in a wide variety of different types including undead wolves, punks, which is your basically your gang members that are left over, and even military and soldiers. This is where you gather extra resources, earn experience for your group members, and complete quests which now leads us up to gameplay and storyline. The game begins with the typical zombie apocalyptic moment where everyone is running around like chickens with their heads cut off and no one having any plan or idea of what to do or where to go. The beginning premise for the character is finding his sister. With this he runs across a sheriff that assists him in finding her and setting up a camp out in the wilderness away from the city with hopes of helping other survivors make their way to that settlement. Now each character that you pick up along this journey will have a beginning skill set that you can try to build upon or even take them in an entirely different direction. Progression is equipment and level based. As you gain experience you will level up and acquire points that can be spent either in combat skills or trade skills. The choice comes down to you. Do you want to be able to guard the settlement better or rain death with an automatic rifle? The difficulty can also be set to what you would like to get out of it, but starting at normal will give you the idea of the gameplay and the tools to continue and plow through at harder levels on your next playthrough. Now from a personal standpoint, I did feel there were spots where it was sluggish and the grind borderlined on tedious as there isn't much to do or go on in the day to day progression other than going out and killing zombies. This is broken by quests that usually are delivered by the sheriff to eradicate threats or help him find survivors on the road. Once you dive deeper into the calendar, the amount of time spent per day to farm out goods increases and just to finish out one day can take upwards to an hour or so to accomplish depending on what goals you want to get done. Now, with everything involving around the turn-based combat and the ammo health management, it really comes down to how far each day you want to push the squad you assemble. There is a marginal reprieve of 20% health given back at the beginning of each day, which in some situations I counted on as I ran out of medical supplies to keep my team's health as high as I would have liked it. Now the turn-based strategy is complex and a lot more involved than I had originally thought it was going to be. Each enemy type has a different range of attacks or even defenses and learning how to manage each type and in what order while managing action points that are given to at the beginning of each turn can make the fights a lot more detailed and involved. There are end of the stage boss fights as well. Once you reach the 20th area of any given location, an elite will be there with a group of higher level normal mobs and upon defeating that boss, which usually will have a nice uh, drop rate of equipment or food rations, the day is going to reset and you move on to the next. Food rations are going to be the understated priority here. If you do not have enough rations to feed your camp, certain members overall health will slip down. If you run out of food, guess what guys, it's game over. Once your main hero is dead, it's also game over. So it has some marginal roguelike elements that can uh, make even going through the grind more important as the only real save state that you get is at the beginning of the dawn of each day. Sound and music design.
The actions of each member when they attack or do certain procedures blends in nicely with the turn-based tactics. Now, each time a member fires off a volley of bullets, you hear the thud impact of the AI, and it feels pretty solid. Unfortunately, there isn't voice acting, which I personally think would have been a nice touch and added a layer of immersion to the playthrough. Now, the music is dark, and the ambience is spot on. I especially enjoy playing in the wilderness setting with the overall tone the two set between each other. Each piece of music blends in nicely with the background and doesn't overpower any moments of the gameplay, and it does give a nice touch to the overall presentation of the game itself. Now, as you may know, guys, I rate the game as buy, sell, or forget about it, and overall, I would rate this game as buy on sale for the sheer decent content it provides. The title itself surprised me in a way I didn't think that a turn-based zombie apocalyptic game would, and the replayability and option to hit certain milestones to toss up that next playthrough means in the end you could easily sink 60 hours into this title before seeing all the different developments that it could take. However, the price point sits at just that mark close enough to make you consider other titles in that price range, and unfortunately, when compared to those, it just kind of falls short. Also, the lack of exploration or even the more deeply entrenched decision making in the storyline limits the overall setting of a well polished turn based game. Developers do deserve a strong amount of praise for the rich combat tactics, and for this, the title stands as an above average title overall, and even a highly rated zombie title in a slew of notoriously half assed games thrown up in this genre for that quick cash grab. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the review. I'm Dungeon J. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later.